the formidable robot. I don't know what I just saw. Even as I continue to find it, there hasn't been much on the internet since my horrible experience. Ever heard of Source Filmmaker? It's basically a software where you make films online. Eventually, it became popular on YouTube and everyone wants to get into the phone. But what happened really got me right in the gut. I decided to check out some YouTube TF2 videos for any new updates and found some. The average SFM videos, stuff as usual. I scrolled down until I saw a video I haven't watched, which is strange because I remember watching most of the surrounding videos. It was called SFM Spies Antithesis. The thumbnail is just a picture of a black void with the video's title looking as if it was slashed by the claws of some large animal. It started with a shot of the foundry map, the siren blaring and the red team charged out of the base with weapons ready. They were yelling in their usual in-game lines, and the song was Art of War from the Team Fortress 2 soundtrack. Then we were met with the spy, my favorite class, who cloaked himself invisible and went inside the blue base. He walked down the hall and saw an engineer with a sentry. He zapped it and the machine exploded. Sentry down! The engineer panicked. Spy shot engineer in the head and said, Not much of a quick draw, are you, partner? As Spy walked through the door and saw the intelligence on the desk as usual, the song changed to right behind you. Again, from the Team Fortress 2 soundtrack. Spy walked over to the intelligence and went to grab it. But what happened next blew me away. It even blew Spy away as well. The intelligence suddenly vanished, and Spy back away in shock and bewilderment. What the hell? He looked back and saw what looked like a fog of black smoke enter the room. Spy, still unnerved, pulled out his gun and fired at the darkness. But to no avail. Spy was swallowed by the darkness, seeing only a black void. I start to notice Spy's full reaction. He looks scared but brushes it off, looking as if he's actually scared on the inside, but in reality, he's not sure of what to expect. Spy then wakes up outside the red base, he looked around him and noticed that it was as if the entire map was vacant of any life. Scout? Soldier? Sniper? ANYONE! Oh, merde. Spy went in the base in a huff, and by now the song changed into what sounded like the Shadow Temple music from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. The wind sound effect sounded so real that it almost made it sound like I was actually there with Spy. He noticed that his teammates are nowhere in sight. No scout, no heavy, no medic, nothing. Just an empty base. Spy wandered around and noticed the amount of blood and body parts strewn around the area. For a while, I would see blood splattered on the floor and on the walls, and body parts scattered on the floor or dangled from the ceiling, like cows and or pigs dangling from hooks in a slaughterhouse. I must be dreaming! Spy said in his voice line. Then suddenly, he saw a disgusting rotten green glow shining inside the spawn room, and went in to see a pale thin humanoid sitting in the middle of the floor, rocking back and forth, it took a moment for him to process what he was seeing. He reacted the way any mercenary would, of course. He ran into the room weapons ready, and for a moment he thought about attacking the morbid creature, but then the grotesque being turned, and that's when Spy saw that it wasn't really a man. It was a pale slithery thing, hairless and warped, its joints turned the wrong way and its body out of shape with itself. When it moved it was like an insane marionette dancing on a stage. The Spy was scared out of his mind. What the hell is that?! Spy recognized its face. The pale thing squatted on its haunches, rocking back and forth like it was palsied. It almost seemed to be in pain. Spy's eyes widened and backed away. Then he heard Scout's voice. Spy! Spy looked around, and he heard the voice of Heavy. Spy! But Heavy and Scout were nowhere to be seen. Spy looked back at the hunched figure. Its head jerked when it talked, like a tick. <laughs> How do you like the spy now? Spy's mouth went dry. It took several tries before he could speak. 
Oh, merde. Oh, did I get blood on your suit? What have you done? Come over here. I promise I will heal you. You imbecile! You've doomed us all! Does it hurt when I do that? It does, doesn't it? The longer it talked, the more the voices became distorted and blurred. An icy feeling nestled in Spy's stomach. Promise not to bleed on my suit and I'll kill you quickly. What sick man sends babies to fight me? This is not a trick. You're a long way from France, boy. Spy's heart thudded against the inside of his chest. You are an amateur and a fool. You're like a car crash in slow motion. It's like I'm watching you fly through a windshield. You are an embarrassment to spies everywhere. Finally, some recognition. Spy licked his dry lips, then pulls out his gun. This dead man belongs in hell! Let's take him home! The creature paused and smirked smugly. Hey look buddy, I'm an engineer. That means I solve problems. Not problems like what is beauty. Because that would fall within the purview of your conundrums of philosophy. Spy blinked. Then I blinked along with him. Is it actually saying the voice lines from me to the engineer? What the hell? I solve practical problems. For instance, how am I gonna stop some big mean Mother Hubbard from tearing me a structurally superfluous new beehive? The answer? It's a gun. And if that don't work, use more gun. Spy blinked again. The thing's voice caused a pinching pain in the center of his forehead. I've gotten out of worse scrapes than this. Like this heavy caliber tripod mounted little old number designed by me. Preposterous! Built by me. Burn in hell, you mumbling abomination! Spy wanted to tear the thing apart with his bare hands. He went to shoot the gun, only to hear the clicks of the barrel. He checked, and noticed all his bullets are gone. Spy's hands began to shake. His stomach turned over. Oh no. He was now staring at the front sight of a revolver. And you best hope. Not pointed at will. As the scene cuts to black with the sound of a gunshot, a blue spy sees the red one with a gunshot wound to the head, and no one knows why. Then it fades to black with white text that reads, and when the spy saw the breadth of his achievement, he wept, for there were no more backs to stab. Then the video ended. I just sat there, motionless. I didn't know what to expect, I went to type a comment, but the video got deleted before I can do so. I told everyone about the video, but no one believed me. So I kept it to myself for so long, just so that if I came across it again, I might download it here for all of you to see. To this day, I still don't know what happened, or how nobody saw what I saw. But I think it's best not to bring things up in the comments. But I'll say one thing though, I talked to one of the distributors for the TF2 Freak Show Wiki, and they said that whatever this thing is, it might have been a freak spy someone rigged for a good video. But as I looked everywhere for the so-called freak spy, nothing came up as I described it before. The video kind of reminded me a lot of the movie Hellraiser. Those fucking Cinnabites gave me nightmares growing up. To this day, I kept searching with no luck. It somehow vanished from existence. No screenshots, no links, nothing. But I can still see the image of that damn ominous spy every time I close my eyes. So, I ask you, that if you find the video by whatever means, please download the video and tell everyone online about my horrible experience. And that this story, is 100% true.